Namaste, I am Manjula. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making paneer tikka masala. This is a very flavorful dish and very simple to make. Marinated paneer with a spicy tomato gravy makes a very delightful side dish. This recipe will serve four. For this recipe, we need half a pound of paneer, one tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of red chili pepper, one tablespoon of grated ginger, one tablespoon of yogurt, one teaspoon of coriander powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. For gravy, we need four medium sized tomato, wind green chili, one tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of cumin seed, pinch of asafoetida, two bay leaves, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of paprika or you can use the degi mirch, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of salt, adjust to your taste, one teaspoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of sugar and one fourth teaspoon of garam masala and two tablespoon of uh, chopped cilantro. Okay, first uh, I am going to slice uh, the paneer in uh, about one eighth inch thick. Now I am going to cut them in three pieces. So this is like a rectangle shape. and now we are going to marinate the paneer so first I am going to mix the spices in paneer to marinate and it should marinate for at least an hour and after mixing the spices you can keep this in the refrigerator so we are going to put the yogurt coriander powder salt ginger and red chili powder just mix it together I think hands are the better way to mix and I am going to let it sit for about an hour or more in the refrigerator which I have already done before and this is ready to cook okay, for the gravy First we are going to blend the tomatoes, so we are going to chop them in few pieces so it's easier to blend and we will blend the green chili also with it, so I will just cut them in few pieces. So blend it for a minute till uh, it becomes puree. So this is done, heat is on medium high. So first I am going to add the oil and just make sure uh, the whole surface of frying pan uh, is greased well and now uh, put the paneer in it and just separate it so it's not sticking to each other and just let it cook uh, for about a minute before you turn them over. So this has been about a minute. So I am going to turn them over and as you see they are light brown so they are looking really good so from other side also we have to let it brown for, for a minute so paneer is looking very good and you can really serve them uh, without putting the in the gravy just as they are as an appetizer so paneer is ready and I am going to take it out and we are going to use the same pan to make the gravy. Okay, so first I am going to add the oil and put the cumin seed. So oil is looking ready and as you see they are cracking. Put the asafoetida, bay leaves, stir and put the tomato paste. Okay, and now we are going to add all the remaining spices. Okay, so we are going to add the coriander powder, 
टर्मरिक पेपरिका शुगर एंड सॉल्ट गरम मसाला वी विल एड इट लेटर एंड कॉर्न स्टार्च आल्सो वी विल एड जस्ट आफ्टर ए मिनट वी आर यूजिंग द कॉर्न स्टार्च टू मेक द ग्रेवी थिक सो दिस विल कुक फॉर अबाउट टू मिनट्स बिफोर वी विल एड द कॉर्न स्टार्च ओके इट हैज बीन अबाउट टू मिनट्स and color is looking good and i am going to add the corn starch i mixed 1 uh, spoon of water in the corn starch before adding so it won't be any it won't be lumpy and like i said corn starch i add just to give the thickness to the gravy and another minute uh, gravy is almost ready and uh, gravy is ready and you can adjust the thickness to your liking adding a little bit more water or cooking little more down so i'm going to add the paneer and it is covered very nicely and cilantro cilantro gives the nice flavor and nice color the paneer tikka masala is looking great and it smells good uh, garam masala gives a very nice aroma and it's ready to serve paneer tikka masala looks great this is a very flavorful gourmet dish your family and friends will enjoy this i will see you again with a new recipe thank you